I spent one night under the stars and it was just unforgettable. The whole sky was covered in like diamonds of stars. It completely blew my mind. Immediately um, I got distracted from practicing. <laughs> I'm interested in astrophotography and I take photos of galaxies and nebulas. The reason I became interested in photography, maybe same reason I became interested in recordings. You kind of capture a moment in time which is beautiful or painful or whichever way. And uh, I always wanted to have something that's permanently there that you can come back to. I was never satisfied that in performance it's just, it's very momentary. Maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. I think um, this is the perfect place for Scrabin's music to be performed. What Scrabin always wanted to achieve was combining all human senses and somehow increase the music intensity through those means. And he was always looking for transcendence. He was always looking for um, innovation and something new and uh, striving for some kind of metamorphosis. His very last piece was going to be performed at the foothills of Himalaya. It's called The Mysterium. Uh, it should be performed by audience and orchestra and musicians all together. And the humanity would basically be transformed into better, nobler beings after this performance. There is no other composer who went through such incredible transformation just from early kind of Chopinesque uh, lightness to this dark, crazy, um, mysterious ideas in his later life. It would be a big loss if the music wasn't part of people's lives, or if art wasn't part of people's lives. That's why classical music is still around, and that's why art is still around, and I think always will be.